Hello YouTube, my name is Filipa and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be playing Best of One Standard with Merfolks. That's true, I have the XLN Early Access, so for 24 hours wizards, let me explore all the new decks here, uh, explore, pun intended. And this deck is all about that, it's a Merfolk Explorer deck, actually from Frank Karsten, which is a great Hall of Famer, pro player, all of that. And this deck is sweet, I played Merfolks in Modern, I love it, so I'm so glad that it's good in Standard once again. So let's take a look. We are playing with two Moonstair prototypes. We can tap and untap artifact or creature you control to add colorless mana or we can channel to discard it and uh, bounce something to their owner's hand. We have four Senot Scouts, a one mana 1-1 one, one, that when it ever enters the battlefield it explores. And maybe you are new with the explore concept because it's a new mechanic. Uh, I mean it's an old mechanic but it's back now on Arena. And the explore basically you reveal the top card of your library and you put that card into your hand if it's a land. But if it's not a land you put a plus one plus one on the creature and you can put it back or put it in your graveyard. So basically you can surveil it if it's not a land. Then we have two Jed Light Spelllunkers, X and Green, and it has a 1-1 one, one that whenever it's battlefield you explore X times. So the more mana you have, the more you can explore. We have four Deproof Pilgrim, and I love, love, love this card. It's so OP. It's an enchantment for two mana. Whenever one or more non-token Merfolks you control become tapped, you create a 1-1 one, one Merfolk with X proof. We have two subterranean schooners, it's a two mana, three, four vehicle, and we can crew it. Whenever these attacks target creature that crew it, explores. Then we have four Voldarian S Catcher. This is a great card because it's also a combat trick. It's two mana and it's flash a one one, but it's a merfolk that says other merfolks you control get a plus one plus one and then you also have sacrifice a merfolk counter target non-creature spell unless it controllers pays one we also have two deep root wayfinders to try to surveil us into lands and try to ramp us a bit we have two nikon zeal it's a two mana two three whenever a creature you control explores we are going to do that a lot if it's a land card you may put the land from your hand into the battlefield tap or if it's not a land, you put a plus one, plus one on these. We have two Tishana's Tie Binder, which is three mana, three, two flash. Whenever enters the battlefield counter up to one target, activated or triggered ability. If it was an ability of an artifact, creature or planeswalker is countered this way, that permanent loses all abilities for as long as this is on the battlefield. So this works so well against planeswalkers because they cannot activate them while this is on the battlefield. We have two Voldoran, and I love this card, it's not new, but it's a 3 mana 2-2 two, two that you can kick it, and if you kick it, it enters with more plus one plus ones, and you basically get to steal a creature with less power than the Voldoran until the end of the turn, which is really, really good. Not, not until the end of the turn, until they remove these, which is even better. Then we have four Sentinels, which is a 3 mana 3-4 three, Vigilance. Whenever these enters battlefield or attacks, you create a map token. We have four Deep Fatum Echo, which is a 4-4 at the beginning of combat on your turn, explores, then you may ever become a copy of another target creature you control. And finally, but not least, we have two Inga and Ezika. It's a four mana, four, four. Creatures you control have vigilance and add one mana of any color if you tap them. Spend only to cast a creature spell. And whenever you cast a creature spell, if three or more mana from creatures was spent, you draw a card and actually, you might think giving Vigilance to your creatures is kind of a non bow with the Pilgrim because this is one or more non-token Merfolks you control becomes tapped, so your creatures don't tap to attack, but they tap to give you mana and that counts as well to make the 1-1s, one -one, so that's important. Uh, when it comes to lands, it's pretty much what the Simic decks run, except Cavern of Souls, which is also a new land and it's very important because not only is going to help you cast your merfolks, also uh, your merfolks cannot be countered if you use colored mana to cast your merfolks this way. So that's pretty insane. No more counters because we don't like them. Before I go in, go in and play some games, I just want to let you know I played these on stream, so maybe I will not be as usual. Uh, 
paying so much attention to YouTube. I'm going to be replying to some comments. You can see the comments, so it's pretty fun. It's just a bit different than my other videos. So I hope you don't mind it too much. Don't forget to give a comment and let's get into the games. I am really proud to only work with brands that I really love and trust. And that is why I'm so happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by 341 Trading. They're having a Black Friday sale that starts on November 22nd. Their online store has a fantastic selection of high-end magic cards, especially for vintage, legacy and old-school players. Sign up on their website to be the first to know when their Black Friday promotion starts and when new sale items go online. Don't miss the chance and thank you so much 341 Trading for sponsoring this video. Magic noobs, let's go! Yes, please. This looks pretty cool. I'll put it on the graveyard. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go, we're already starting to do some fun things. We will create a CD map token. Oh no, okay, that's fine. Oh, Lily's pretty good, but I can always. Okay. Oh, okay, they go for the plus. So I'm going to kill Lily. This is so good, but we need mana. I'll do that, we'll explore. It is pretty good, but I think I need a land, so... Unfortunately, this has Vigilance, so it doesn't really become tapped, but that's fine. Okay, so I think we're going to, yeah, discard our last card, but that's okay. Because we can still explore. Ooh, we're going to make a bunch. Okay, so we did get a land. We can attack, attack, and attack face. Uh, we are playing standard, and then I'm going to play draft. But I'm playing Merfolk now for my YouTube channel. So hello if you're watching on YouTube. Oh, Shieldred. Okay, it's... It's fine, I guess. What can I do? That's a pretty good one. I, I can only activate this as a sorcery, though. That's fine. What does this do? Uh, that's fine. Actually, I didn't really want that on the top anymore. So it ended up working out for me. Okay, we did get one, so that's good. We can say Merfolk. Next, we can Otawara that Chili and win. Yeah, Vigilance on Mer Merfolk is actually a con in this deck. But this card is so good, the Deep Root Pilagree. It is really good. Okay, so another Shili, but I doubt they, they want a Shili. Maybe they want Lily. So they are going to make me discard Otawara, which is pretty annoying, but I still win. Okay, doesn't matter. My folks for the win! Wait a second. Tô, tá tudo bem. 
sorry y'all, my mom decided to uh, call me. And she called me four times in a row, so I was like, did anyone die? Is everything okay? And uh, nobody died, she just decided to call me four times in a row for some reason. Moms, I guess. Okay, so, Merfolk. Actually, my mom watches my Twitch account and she actually one time bought me six coffees on the platform, buy me a coffee. So that was fun. Okay, whenever a creature you control explores, this is really cool. A land card, you may put the land card from my hand into the battlefield tapped. Whenever a creature you control explores a no land card, you put a... Oh, it's a merfolk mirror! Fair enough. Oh, thank you, Blob. I don't know, is my voice in Portuguese different than my voice in English? Maybe, I don't know. This is a bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. I can explore twice, which is cool. I can also just explore once and then do this. Yeah, I'll put it. I could also kill that. Guess I can explore one more time, but I think this is better. I can just play it immediately, just to make my creature bigger. Mm, I also want to draw this card. Hi, Pika. You, ne you never heard me speak Portuguese, uh, really? No, this Christmas is not going to be in Portugal, it's going to be in Bulgaria, but next Christmas it's going to be in Portugal. What's that? Oh, it's... I have the same one. So they explore twice. I wonder why they didn't explore thrice. I think probably they have something else. But exploring with this card is really good. With this, this one. That's fine. Ah, see, because they have another scout. Fair enough. What can I do? I'll take it all. It's a race. Oh, I actually got it. That's really good. Uh, explores, then you may have it become a copy until the end of the turn. Well... I think this is pretty good. We apply some more pressure. Now we have a 5-5, five, five, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now they copied us. That explores, that's fine. I think we have advantage here. But it's really close. Oh, so they decided not to. See, they are playing defensively. That's when you know things are going pretty well for you. So I can explore five times.
I think. Doesn't it become with five plus one plus one counters as well? Let's discover. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Oh, and it's... It, it, oh, no, that's bad. I didn't know it lost the legendary thing. That's really bad. They do have to block, but that's really bad. I didn't know that they... Be, like, I thought... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I should have copied the Voldoran catcher or nothing. You know what? It's fine. I probably can still win, but that was pretty bad. Yeah, legend rule, but I, I, I don't know why I thought it like it copied without being legendary. I still won, but yeah. Art, art lesson, yeah. I still won. <laughs> but barely. <laughs> that was unnecessary, let's say. This is... This is a keep. It's pretty good, actually. So we will say Merfolk, obviously. And we can start exploring already. Oh, let's go, free land. So unfortunately I cannot play these because I don't have blue. These enter stopped, so... Eventually I can kick this. So I'm just going to do this for one. It's a pretty good one. We can keep it. I don't see why not. That's okay. And that's okay. Just let's think. I can do that, but I cannot kick it. So we'll do that. I don't think we need to copy anything. Doesn't matter. That's okay. They don't attack, so that's good for me. So I wanna attack with this. A double block, that's fine. So I still have another Voldoran. Hey, Philippe, I'm really liking the new cars. They're really fun. I'm doing some Merfolk things now. I'm Merfolking. I don't know if that's an expression or not. Kinda inventing, to be honest. Oh, I only create one. I thought I would create more, but that's fine, because we this cannot block. I would actually try to kill a X catcher, because that's what's putting my board so big. Next time we can steal something. Ah, Italy is annoying though. What did they get? A Nexus is pretty good. And a Vigilance as well. Okay, not much we can do. I could counter that, but... I think we just win because we have more attackers and we can steal something. I didn't understand this attack. Okay, I guess they want to make a 4-4. Four, four. It's okay. So I cannot do it twice, so I'm just going to do it once. Okay, 
That should be enough. Because now they only have four blockers. Easy game. Oh, Singapore, let's go. That's really nice. Okay, we got a free land, I'll take it. Yeah, that's not a lot, unfortunately. In Madeira, but that's normal. So it looks like our opponent is playing an explorer deck. Not just Merfolk, but overall explorer. That's fine. More explore. I'm going to steal that ramp that they have. power less I thought it was the same okay you know what not much I can do I'm going to attack with these maybe they'll double block but I, I can get rid of the pentheologist oh okay oh I'm going to keep this on top it's a good one I made it to diamond yesterday while y'all were off server congrats that's really early on nice very impressive, congratulations. Mm, doesn't really steal, so doesn't really do much. I already have one, I don't want another one. That's okay. You can still get to Mythic very early on the season, because today it's still the 10th. I'm actually going to decline here. No, I wanted to decline. It's okay. We can just attack with everything. And now we have a surprise. That's okay, that's okay. That is working out pretty well for us. No, I wanna, I wanna get a land in the grave. But it's not happening. I was going to play these then. We can create a map token, start exploring even more. Okay, that's transformed, so... Ooh, that's a good one. But I don't think it's enough. Nor anymore. Uh, I think they might have a fighting spell or something. No, oh, the tent is your record. Yeah. I mean, today's still the tent. Technically, you know. Okay, that's pretty good actually. We'll decline, we'll attack with everything. GG. Ah, uh, we can cap keep this, I think it's fine. We have a one mana which is good. I 
kind of want to explore. Try to get an untapped land. Oh, that's great. So next turn I could do these, start making a bunch of Malfork, Malfolks. Two mana, oof, okay. So I don't really want to attack in this position. Next turn I can give my little Marfolks plus one plus one in instant speed, which is really cool. Let's hope they don't have a board wipe though. But this is looking pretty good. The next one we have the Inga and Ezika. Although giving vigilance for our creatures is kind of a nombo with the deep root pilagree. So I can actually just do that. Oh no, because he does have the ward, which is a bit annoying. If they want to trade these or not. Mm, I already have one. I don't want another one. They're legendary. Oh, but this counts as tapping, so never mind. It's not a nombo. It's actually really good. Yeah, here meals are really inexpensive. That's true. But thrift stars are still pretty cool. But a lot of people in Bulgaria actually receive like 300 euros. The minimal wage is like 300 something euros. So that's why things are really cheap. It's because a lot of people don't receive a lot of money in Bulgaria. Easy game, by the way. Oh, I love that emote from Ash. So cool. This is kind of awkward and I'm kind of just hoping that I get a... Oh, there we go. I explore that gives me a land or something. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're talking. Candy Trail. Okay, so this is the artifact deck. Everyone is playing this artifact deck. Everyone. What is that? Okay, so let's attack. Okay, so they tap that. Might just play another one. It's not legendary, so it's fine. That's okay. No. Okay, let's attack. And pass. That's okay. My modes, I, I commissioned, them, commissioned them three years ago, and the Pokemon ones that are more recent, I just bought them on Etsy. But I commissioned them during COVID, the main ones from an artist on Fiverr. 
Finally mana though, that's good. We still have the Voldyran Edge Catcher, which works really well with like sacrificing. That's okay. Let me attack. Okay. Hopefully they don't have a board wipe, but I think they might have one. Is that a board wipe? Yeah, it is. At least I keep one. Gotta be positive, you know? So this is another one, at least they are legend. Oh no, it's a different one, okay. I don't have a way to deal with this yet. I just want to attack with this 9 9. That's fine. What happens when that happens? Okay, this even gets smaller. Okay, so they go to 3. I'm going to play another Merfolk. Decided not to. Tap this. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. 9 9 is great, I have to admit. I love it. Craft with artifacts. Okay, let's see the magic. This thing is going to draw so many cards. It's kind of insane. A hand bar is already doing. Okay, so they draw a million cards or something similar. They still have five mana, so they can still destroy the creatures. Okay, glass casket, that's a bit annoying. Oh, that one. I can always do this and counter something. Oh no, I thought I could counter the ability. I can still counter one time. Okay, we got them. Okay, we can keep this. So, we're saying Merfolk? It's this artifact deck that is really good. Okay. A certain dominance, I guess. Oh, thank you so much for the resub, Lord. I appreciate that. Thank you so much for subbing. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
already have one of those. I don't want more. Can't believe it's just already been two months. That's crazy. Oof. Okay. That Sir Ginger is really big. Powerless. Okay. Actually, this seems really. Po it has a lot of potential. Can I counter that? Yeah, so that's pretty good. At least we got to counter that. So I can do Merfolk. This has Flash, which is good. I don't mind this trade. Hi, Florent. I'm doing great. What about you? Oh no, yeah, I'm enjoying. I'm sorry, I don't know why it's shopping. In my site it says everything is okay. But I don't know what it is. Cause in my stream it doesn't say anything. Okay, now it says that it is, yeah. Oh no. Hopefully it's just momentary. That thing is kinda huge. I'm just going to take it. Okay, not bad. It seems fine now. Okay, maybe it was just a momentary issue. Great. Internet's... Uh, oh no, they get it back. Okay, at least that. So, if I do this... So let me think what I want to do. I think I want to get rid of that one. Next turn, how much damage do I give? Fortunately, not enough. The internet in Portugal is good, but I'm in Bulgaria, so... The internet in Portugal is pretty okay, I would say. Yeah, I'm dead, because this gets this flying. 
and I don't really have a way to get flying. That's it, I really like Merfolks. I think it's a super strong deck. Let me know what you think in the comments down below if you liked it or not. And that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, all of those things. Bye.